BTEC Applied Science Unit 3. What plants need? What do plants need to grow healthy? Okay, what do plants need to grow and be healthy? Well, you should definitely recognize this equation here. It is, of course, photosynthesis. So carbon dioxide plus water, and the plant turns that into food plus oxygen, glucose plus oxygen. Okay, so what do plants need to grow and what do they need to be healthy as well? Well, they need light because that's where the energy comes from. Uh, they need water. Uh, they also need nutrients or ions which they get from the soil. They need carbon dioxide. They need space and they need a suitable temperature depending on what kind of plant it is. Now, plants in the wild are in competition with each other. There is a, a limited amount of resources and basically they are competing with each other. What do they compete for? It's basically the same list. They compete for light. Uh, they compete for water in the soil. They compete for nutrients. They compete for carbon dioxide and they compete for space. So there's like a battle going on amongst all of these plants for the available resources. What factors will affect the rate of growth of plants? How quickly plants grow? Well, uh, different plants have adapted to survive in different conditions. If we're talking a, a cactus, or if we're talking some kind of a plant that lives on a hill at high altitude where it's a lot colder. What might be ideal for one plant may not be for another. Uh, very much depends on the plant. Uh, looking at the list, the pH of the soil, uh, different plants prefer, some prefer acidic soil, some prefer neutral, some prefer, prefer alkaline soil. Uh, aeration which is the amount of air uh, in the soil. Uh, light intensity, uh, temperature, again, that depends very much on the plant. Uh, moisture, the availability of moisture, and the ions, okay? The concentration of the ions and what ions are present. And these factors could affect the rate of growth of plants. How could you go about investigating them? Well, lots of different experiments you could do to investigate them. Uh, in this particular experiment, what they're doing is they're investigating the color of the light to see how that will affect plant growth. So the independent variable would be the color of the light, or if you like, the wavelength. What do you think a good dependent variable would be? If we're measuring the rate of growth, what would, you, what would you use as your dependent variable that would tell you how quickly the plants are growing? Here's another classic experiment, uh, and this is looking at deficiencies of nutrients. So you have the same plant to start with, but then one of them's got all of the nutrients, one of them's just got distilled water, as a control and then the other plants have a nutrient missing to see what difference it would make. Now these plants are in their natural habitat, these wild flowers. Is there anything that would affect the rate of growth which we haven't mentioned on the list? Uh, and the answer is yes and that is possibly human beings. Yeah, if you've got people trampling all over this field, then that will affect the rate of growth in different parts of the field. So humans, the effect of humans is another factor. Uh, here are some questions for you to do. Write an equation for photosynthesis. Uh, write a list of the factors that will affect the rate of growth of plants. 
Uh, here is an experiment that hopefully you will do. You're interested in how light intensity affects the rate of photosynthesis, uh, and a classic way is by using pondweed. And you put the pondweed underwater and you shine light on it and you get little bubbles of oxygen. Yeah, because the photosynthesis produces oxygen. You have a, a little bit of sodium hydrogen carbonate in the water and that makes sure that the, the plant is getting carbon dioxide. So how could you vary and how could you measure the light intensity that the plant is exposed to? How could you measure the rate of photosynthesis? And then what other factors could you investigate? Instead of the light intensity, the, using this equipment, what else could you investigate other than light intensity? And I'm not going to tell you the answers. What you should do is uh, there's loads of YouTube clips of this experiment being done. Look one up.